Hello everyone. Welcome to our uh, M Collection webinar. Today we'll be joined by Marcelo Munoz and John Levin. Uh, Marcelo is going to be giving us a pr uh, presentation on the M Collection, all the features and benefits it has to offer. And following up, we'll have questions from the audience answered by John and Marcelo. So Marcelo, take it away. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, giving us some of your time this afternoon. Uh, busy day today, obviously. Everybody's coming into work after voting or, you know, getting stuff ready. Uh, we're we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving within a week or two already. Um, you know, last quarter of the year is already underway. So, um, again, we appreciate uh, your time. Um, so we're going to talk about M Collection. Um, this is the latest uh, product released by Star Micronics. Um, it's actually unique in the sense that it's the first time that Star in its history has released not just one product, but uh, sort of a uh, group or collection, uh, to coin a phrase, of products um, that include uh, multiple possibilities for you to grow your business. Um, it's obviously uh, innovative and uh, something that is very exciting for us and we're very happy to share all of that with you. So without further ado, let's get started. When we talk about M Collection, um, it's very important to talk about how we got here. Um, the M POS uh, revolution, as we've coined the phrase, um, versus standard M, you know, standard POS solutions that we've been familiar with for numerous years already. Um, what can you get from uh, a mobile point of sale uh, solution, a uh, tablet solution? Uh, first and foremost, obviously, it's very easy to use. Uh, it's very simple. Everything is touchscreen integrated, so um, the user and the uh, consumer can, can definitely be a participant in the solution. It's very compact. Obviously, anybody who remembers the tower computers and the keyboards and CRT monitors knows that a tablet uh, definitely takes up a lot less, lot less counter space than before. It's a very stable operating system, um, iOS and Android both, um, when compared to, you know, your Windows of the past where, you know, you'd have issues, the blue screen of death or... Um, different types of viruses coming into your operating system. You don't see that um, as much, if not at all, with these mobile uh, operating systems. Obviously, going back to the compact size, it's also very portable. That's why it's called a mobile POS. You can take your tablet anywhere. Um, you can take your printer anywhere. And uh, portability becomes very easy to um, put these types of solutions in places where uh, traditional POS never got to. Uh, cost effective. Um, obviously, you can bundle up many things and, and just choose one manufacturer like Star Micronics um, for all your solutions needs. And it's a dedicated system, meaning that any of these applications that run on these tablets um, are dedicated for that particular um, environment, whether it be retail at a bookstore, um, a restaurant application and, you know, a restaurant pizza specific or Japanese food specific, you know, these applications are catered um, that precisely to those individual uh, applications. So when I talked about um, how we got to where we are today, it's worth noting um, where it all came from. You know, you had your traditional POS system, which was the keyboard, the big cash drawer, a computer on its side, um, flat screen monitor if you were lucky, uh, pole display and, you know, the receipt printer. And then, you know, you had the onset of the tablets come out, um, everybody doing their best to kind of make it look sexy and appealing, um, but still you're not really breaking off of what um, it was originally intended to be, something elegant and compact. So with M Collection, um, we offer a unified and elegant design, um, compact, space saving, a great user experience, Common software, meaning one size fits all for our SDK. Um, we take very great pride in how simple and easy it is to integrate our products. And John can definitely attest to that uh, later on. He'll be mentioning his successes in that. Um, and we also will be incorporating our latest technologies with STAR, um, not just being a printer company, but also being able to provide, aside from the hardware, 
there's um, technologies that would facilitate the use of our hardware with uh, technologies like cloud print and pass print. So when I mean unified design, uh, I'm talking about uh, basically how all of these new products are going to be looking like inside of the stores. Um, we have two new receipt printers, a two and three inch uh, cube shaped front exit printers, um, a sleek new design for a cash drawer. Um, of course, the grandfather uh, of this uh, or father of this um, design being the MPOP all based around tablet solutions with peripherals. And we have them both in white and in black for your color pleasure. And as I mentioned, the M collection is also peripheral. So we have pull displays, uh, I'm sorry, customer displays, uh, one, one or two D barcode scanning capabilities. We have uh, scales, which is something brand new for Star Micronics and new for many of our partners. Um, this is something that uh, we're very, very excited about. There's a lot of possibilities here in this world, and we're happy to provide that. Uh, and of course, um, you can't print a receipt without paper. We also have our own star blue core paper, which is uh, fantastic to be able to give you know the fries with the uh, main course of the meal there. So understanding where MPOS came, comes from, um, as I had mentioned, these old POS solutions uh, would run on Windows or some version of, uh, of OS from Apple. Um, this is our legacy systems, which are still very, very prevalent, at least in one type of communication form USB. Um, but as we've seen over the last five years um, and beyond, uh, it's definitely moving into what we would call the MPOS world, where you have iOS, Android, um, and Windows now in this space. Um, with different forms of communications to commu to uh, with the hardware USB, uh, Bluetooth is very popular. Ethernet um, has come out as uh, being also something very very uh, common in the workplace, and of course Wi-Fi. Um, so that's where we are today. Um, but of course, you know we are never too content with uh, where we are. We always like to look towards the future at Star. So. We see web applications um, run through the cloud. Um, you know, years ago you would have physical servers in some locations that would control, uh, you know, the data processing and whatnot, or the environment, the retail environment for a store. Now with the cloud, um, everything can be run remotely from anywhere, from any part of the world to point A, B, or C. So this is the type of uh, future that we see at Star, and we've already have started um, and been successful in integrating this type of technology with our hardware. So as I mentioned, M Collection started with the MPOP. Um, this was a very unique and stylish product that we released a couple of years ago. Uh, it's an integrated receipt printer with cash drawer, built definitely for the tablet POS environment. It offers a very, very uh, compact um, design so it'll fit anywhere um you know a lot of successes for these for these devices have been in either in food trucks where space is limited or in mall kiosks um has also been successful um, very easy to integrate can work with any of the operating systems in white or in black um, we've extended um some engineering changes on the voltage support for tablet charging and peripheral support as well so MPOP, um, definitely prevalent, definitely remaining with us, and um, we're excited for its future as well. So now to talk specifically about the new products, as I had mentioned, the M Collection is the first product launch of multi-devices um, for everybody to, to sink their teeth into. Um, we'll start with the two main products, uh, two of the main products, obviously, um, printing being at the center of it. We have the MC Print 2 and MC Print 3. These are two and three inch printers, respectively, front exit printers, um, which is something new for Star Micronics. We have another model, FEP10, that, that has this type of capability. But as far as mainstay for regular retail, this is a first for Star. Um, and the great thing about this is, you know, you would think, 
oh, you know, I've seen Q printers around, you know, A, B, or C that's out there. What's great about our um, printer is the MC series is that it can serve as a hub. So we're tailoring towards the tablet applications uh, or even a you know laptop application if you know the need comes around where peripheral support is limited. That is no longer the case when it comes to the MC print series. Um, you can connect a cash drawer, a customer display, a one or 2D barcode scanner and our new scale into this printer and run it directly from the printer. So there's no need to have an intelligent printer running as a computer. Um, it's all supported through our SDK and the, app, the POS application can run without any loss of resources on that tablet. So how would this look um, physically on the printer on the backside? Um, this, would, this would be how it would look on the MCP3. So you have all your different ports. Um, Natively, uh, the printer comes with USB LAN support with an optional Bluetooth uh, connectivity available. Um, and then you have the ports for USB Lightning, which is unique to STAR. Um, you could actually run your iPad not just by communicating, but also charging through this port. Uh, or you can use it as a regular USB port. And then you have the additional two ports for hub support where you can connect to your barcode scanner. Uh, you can connect your scale or you can use your scale by Bluetooth, which is another interesting feature for our scales. We'll get to that soon. And your traditional cash drawer buzzer connection, RJ11 and power cord. So all of this is run um, through the back of the printer on the MCP3. And we've designed it so that the cable management won't be as messy as uh, you may think. Um, it's a big thing for us at Star uh, having the not just the look of a compact and style, but the aesthetics as well. So this makes it uh, very, uh, very easy on um, inst installations where you can, you know, maneuver the cables a certain way. And um, we've, we've thought of that here at STAR as well. Um, so just a quick look here at the MCP, MCP2 and 3, um, top end, does the top drop in or, or front drop in? For the late, uh, sorry, for the receipt rolls, very simple to install, um, very easy. They use um, the MCP3 uses a standard thermal paper roll, and the MCP2 uses a two-inch paper roll, similar exactly to what the MPOP uses today. So the supplies will not be very difficult to, at all to to get for these products. So what does the hub mean? The hub means you reduce the cost of the entire system overall. There's no need for a wireless scanner, which can be astronomical in prices. You can connect it physically to the printer. Um, if, you're wanting, if you're wanting to use Bluetooth, there's no need for an additional converter. Um, that is taken care of also with the printer itself. It's gonna be a one-stop shop. All you need to do is get a star printer and uh, one SDK to develop around. So that would make it very easy for your purchasing uh, and your development um, teams to just jump right in and uh, be able to get uh, exactly what they need from day one. Again, we're emphasizing on compact size um, when compared to our TSP100, uh, which is our standard uh, flagship printer, I guess you can say. The um, MCP3 is about 40% less in size, and the MCP2 is about 60% less, which is pretty interesting when you're considering cap, uh, uh, countertop space. And uh, there was actually also a redesign on the power supply, um, which made it about 30% smaller. This makes it also a lot easier to uh, do your cable management and connections um, if you're doing multiple devices in one specific area. So the MCP3, when we're talking about specifications, we're talking about what's out there in the market right now. Uh, very similar to our TSP100, 2 million cuts for the, uh, the auto cutter, 250 millimeters per second. You can adjust the size between three and two inch, 80 or 58 millimeters. As I had mentioned, the base model comes USB LAN standard, or you can get a uh, USB LAN and Bluetooth model. It's IPX2, it's splash proof uh, certified. So, and the off hand connect, you know, off hand possibility of a spillage, the printer is protected. We added also a layer, an extra layer of protection around the board, which is located at the top of the printer. 
a sort of like a uh, sort of like a, a foam protection that would prevent any insects from getting into that board and damaging it and pretty much frying the printer. Um, you would think, you know, why is that an important uh, thing? Insect insect proof. Uh, I didn't believe it until I saw it. You'd be surprised how these roaches are looking for a nice warm spot to lay their eggs and you know, at a restaurant or some type of store, sometimes these insects are there and they'll crawl in there and it's not a pretty sight. So uh, we thought about that as well and, and protected the printer, gave it that extra layer of protection. And like our MPOP, this printer will have the flat print technology, meaning that uh, no matter where um, the receipt roll is, is at its paper level, that paper will come out flat, very easy to sign. Um, and very easy to, to give to a customer. Um, this is incorporated to start, as I mentioned, with the MPOP and moving forward. Um, it was in the TSP 100, now in the MC Print series. So this is a, another star only feature. So as I mentioned, it's uh, splash proof, waterproof, up to a 15 degree angle, if I'm not mistaken. So um, if you need to take a shower with your printer, you're more than welcome to. Now the MC Print 2, um, Specifications are much more similar to what the MPOP is. As a matter of fact, I like to joke and say that we basically cut a piece of the MPOP, the, the printer part of the MPOP out uh, and just made it uh, the MCP2 because it has the same mechanism, uh, same features as far as flat print um, and printing speed as the MPOP. This also has the flat print technology. So um, if you're looking to maybe uh, save a couple of extra bucks. The base model, which is USB LAN, would probably be close to our lowest priced printer uh, that Star has to offer. Um, so it, it is uh, fitted for um, those markets where uh, pricing is, is is a key and the, and the budget uh, would demand that type of a printer. So a great user experience. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have printers here that have uh, that can fit in an all-in-one traditional and tablet POS uh, environment. You have the hub that can support all the peripherals, uh, connectivity uh, with all types of uh, of the modern connections that I had mentioned in an earlier slide. Um, we'll be able to incorporate the latest technologies, which is coming on my next slide for Star, uh, Bluetooth, iOS, Android, Windows. Um, these printers can support them all. So our latest technologies, some of these you're familiar with, um, our Pass Print, which is an application. This enables to print from any iOS or Android device using a, a URL scheme based printing method. Um, this was born out of the FileMaker um, community and has grown into uh, quite a following. I think we even have you know, some, some pretty high profile customers using the Pass Print solution. WebPrint um, was our first uh, venture into cloud printing technology. Web-based applications will be able to connect through a URL to send the print commands through HTML. Um, that has since evolved into cloud print, which is um, a much more simpler to use. Um, it opens up for, uh, for web-based applications outside of a star website, um, which makes it easier for uh, cloud online services, uh, whether it be food or products, um, can run through cloud print. So um, these are the latest technologies that STAR has brought to the to the environment, and uh, we're very excited about it. We see a lot of future um, in this, specifically cloud print is something that's, um, it's definitely showing a lot of potential, especially in the food ordering service, um, now, now delivery services with other types of products. Um, I just spoke with somebody uh, yesterday um, that they're doing now deliveries for cannabis products in California, and this was something right up their alley to develop around. So um, we're very excited to see the future and what it holds for CloudPrint. So as I had mentioned, um, our SDK is extremely thorough. Our development tools are very, very friendly to use. Um, when it comes to iOS, uh, Swift is uh, the most popular form of coding that uh, these developers are using. Android, of course, with JavaScript, and then you know Windows and Mac OS. Um, <clears throat> that we have their 
their print languages, print command languages as well. And John, I think you can chime in here and, and uh, share your experience with uh, on the integration side, how easy it's been for everybody that's worked with our products. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We, uh, we have probably a couple thousand software companies working with our products now. Uh, our, we designed our, our newest SDKs to really work with all of our products. So you can kind of develop once and support everything, uh, including the peripherals. So it's, they're really, really nice to work with. Uh, if we have any software companies on the, on the call today, uh, happy to work with you guys to help, uh, help you to work with these, these great new products. Thanks, John. So yes, um, and our integration team is always ready, willing, and able to assist you in as far as getting the development started, getting demo products into your hands as soon as possible, um, and then working hand in hand with us in sales to discuss your go-to-market strategy, um, see how your product wants to, how can we get, how can we help you get the product out into your customers' hands? So um, development obviously starts with ones and zeros, but then those ones and zeros need to turn into dollar signs and we'll be able to help you um, in every way, shape or form to make that happen. So um, the next product that I'd like to talk about in the M collection is our new scales. Um, we're very, very excited about um, this particular product. Um, it's something new to star in the um, close to 70 years of STARS existence. Um, this is the first time we'll be offering this type of product. And um, these, these, these scales are made in Japan and um, we brought them over here. Uh, we've got them certified with MTEP, which is the uh, standardized national uh, organization, which permits these scales to not just weigh your product, but price, base your pricing on that weight which is make this is what makes it unique in that aspect um so there's very very a uh, very big market out there in pharmaceuticals um in retails jewelry jewelry places uh, obviously cannabis is an interesting market for scales um you know in in the retail area you also have you know a little bit of hospitality with you know yogurt shops and you know places that sell their product based on weight. So um, for that, we have uh, three different models of scales, um, each with different weight sensitivities and capacities and uh, readables. Um, they're very robust. Um, it's a very stable um, type scale. It has a tuning fork sensor, which is something uh, very important when you have uh, these scales set up in an environment. They're, they're very easy to collect. Um, to set up and calibrate. Um, they're also low energy consumption. You can battery operate these. So again, in that mobile world where you want to take product to sell and weigh it, um, you don't necessarily have to have this product uh, plugged into something. It can work on batteries. Um, Multi-interfaces. Um, this is the only Bluetooth scale in the market today. Um, we're very proud to offer that. Um, obviously, USB is a key uh, connection for scales, but uh, on the traditional side, RS-232 seems to be uh, where it's most of these applications are at um, in high-level uh, supermarkets and, and places, delis and stuff like that. They're still using serial connection, so these scales will be able to work in those places as well. Common software, as John mentioned, our SDK is pretty much one-size-fits-all. So we're making it very easy for you to, to develop not only our printers, but also our scales. Last but not least, um, the MC Cache. Um, this is a sleek new design for our cache drawers. We'll be um, premiering these early next year. Um, there were some last minute adjustments that uh, we did to improve the design on the, on the cache drawer. So um, this will be coming in um it lasts in the m collection but uh doesn't make it the worst <laughs> so it'll be a four bill five coin cash drawer small size pretty much if you're familiar with the m pop it's almost exactly the same size as the m pop except it doesn't have the um integrated um 
printer to this um, installed in it, but it, it's basically the same footprint as the MPOP. Um, this is also, you know, born from people that were talking about MPOP and how great it was, but how they wished they had a bigger cash drawer. So, you know, we we dabbled with the idea of actually giving an MPOP style device with the size of a cash drawer and integrated cash uh, integrated printer. Uh, we some of us saw the prototypes floating around and we pretty much agreed that that Frankenstein uh, should not be released. So we, this is where we came out with this M collection idea of a sleek cash drawer, great uh, company accompanied by a great printer next to it. Um, still give that sleek look and uh, not that big of a footprint. And of course, um, just like all the rest of our products, we have them in black and in white. So with that, I want to thank everybody again for their time. Um, that is our M collection presentation for today. Um, we will open up now the forum for any questions. So I have a few we could start off with here. Um, can the hub function uh, support other peripherals? So at this time, so, um, peripheral support is with the STAR products that I had mentioned, the 1D scanner, the STAR customer display, um, the 9208 Zebra 2D barcode scanner, and our 1D barcode scanner. If, if people have other needs, though, we're, we're certainly very interested to hear about that. You know, ideally, we'd love to grow the collection of peripherals that we're supporting over time. So please, feedback is welcome. OK. Uh, I have here, do, do all three styles of scale support a USB interface? Yes. No, they all three have USB, Bluetooth, and serial. Really, the only the only differences in the scales are the uh, the sensitivity or accuracy, uh, the capacity, and then the most sensitive scale also comes with kind of a glass housing because it is so sensitive. Um, you need that to you know keep the air fluctuations or breeze uh, away from it affecting the reading. Um, but uh, as far as connectivity, they all have the Bluetooth low energy, USB, and serial interfaces. Um, in your opinion, Marcelo, what would you use for a high cache environment? So the MC cache drawer um, was sort of designed to work with the MC prints to go into that space that MPOP just couldn't because of the high cache environments. Um, so um, moving forward towards the beginning of next year when these cache drawers will be available, you can use those cache drawers or uh, we do have uh, our tradition cache drawers today, um, which will work as well with our, uh, our printers. So um, to clear up, they ask, can any barcode scanner be used with the M collection or only the ones that are part of it? I think there was some confusion. So today it's the ones with the M collection. Okay. Um, why, why are the scales uh, good for cannabis? So depending on the state that you're in, um, the the product is either weighed at the store or on the distribution level. Um, so depending on where you're at, um, these scales could be used in uh, or environment. So we, you know, before releasing these scales during the design phase, we researched all of the state requirements for uh, legal cannabis scale uh, sales. The they all have kind of slightly different uh, requirements around what is allowed to be done with scales. 
what uh, sensitivity requirements you have for scales where they can be, you know, you can measure at the point of sale. So we studied all of this and made sure that the, the suite of scales that we were releasing could meet all of the U.S. states um, uh, and Canada currently uh, allowing cannabis sales. So uh, really this, you know, now and in the future, we should have uh, every requirement covered with the, the suite of scales that we've released. Um, and I mentioned Canada will have, uh, we have the N NTEP certification here for the U.S. Uh, already at launch, and then we're going to be uh, releasing certification for Canada uh, early next year as well. So we'll have all of, uh, should have very, very soon all of North America covered. John, I have another question for you. Um, they have already integrated our past print technology. So will that work for the MC print two and three? Yep. Yep, because the uh, so the people on the call that don't maybe don't know what our past print technology is, it's a it's a way to print on iOS and Android uh, to really any of our printers from either native web FileMaker applications um, in a very simple way. Uh, it's very easy to integrate because basically our past print app, which your application is going to switch to, uh, already. Uh, handles all the communication with the printer, so your application doesn't have to. Um, so yes, b because the past print app supports the MC print printers, then uh, really you should not uh, you should not need to do anything differently. Does that also apply for web print and cloud print technologies? Uh, yeah. So there are. Generally, that is true. There are some caveats. I can go into more detail offline about um, about what you know for cloud print, what image types are are supported. Um, basically, to to you know not make the cost outrageous for the the MC Print series of printers, um, there are some limitations in some cases. Uh, but uh, generally, it's very easy to design around. Uh, you know, we wanted to make this thing as functional as possible. Um, but yeah, so if, if you're using web print or cloud print today uh, and you have any specific questions, feel free to reach out to me. Hopefully we'll provide my contact info um, at the end of this, but uh, feel free to reach out and I can discuss that with you and make sure that your application is going to work, uh, work really well on these, these new hardware platforms. Kyle, I see a question here. Uh, if the presentation and video will be shared, is that going to be made available yeah. for everybody here? Yeah, so once this is over, we'll send out um, the email blast with the presentation, uh, a recording of the webinar, as well as both both Marcelo and John's contact info for anybody that wants it. I don't see any more questions coming in. Um, How 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 have we designed these printers to work in a restaurant or a kitchen environment? Yeah, so it's a, we've done quite a few things, some of which uh, Marcelo alluded to in his presentation. But we really, uh, and this is I'm talking about the MC Print Three in particular, which we've really um, considered for for restaurant use. Especially, we're seeing you know more and more thermal printers being used in kitchen environments in the United States. So that's that's kind of an interesting development. And we wanted to make sure we designed a printer that that worked really well as uh, you know kind of front of house and back of house in a restaurant. So one of the the major things we did was you know most most receipt printers uh, or kitchen printers have the the printed circuit board is typically at the bottom of the printer. That's that's kind of standard printer design. Uh, the problem with that is if you get any water into it or any, you know, a pop or something like that, uh, it, it tends to pool at the bottom. So if your your circuit boards are at the bottom of the printer, that's that's where the fluid is, is pooling. It can potentially cause some damage. So we uh, designed the printer so that all of the boards, the, the main board, the, the interface uh, board, they're all at the top of the printer, so no no fluid's going to pull at those boards. Of course, just by the design of the printer, it's um, it's the the paper is front exit and front loading, so there's no paper slot or anything like that at the top of the printer. 
um, where where liquids are going to get inside. So that really offers a lot of protection. Also, the, the interfaces, uh, usually they're, they're somewhat exposed on a printer. These are completely covered by a, 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 the back cover, which clips onto the printer. And also, the, the interfaces all point down, so no liquid can, can pool inside them or anything like that. Um, so all of that kind of design really makes them resistant to, to liquid incursion. So that, uh, that's how, how we're able to, to offer that IP rating on the printer. Um, and then also, as Marcelo mentioned, all of the areas, the, the kind of um, empty spaces around the printed circuit boards, we filled with a foam material, so so no creepy crawlies can get inside and and, and make a home. Um, they really like those warm printed circuit boards. Uh, so all of those kind of printer design things um, makes it really resistant to to the things that you see, you know, the liquids and bugs and stuff like that you see in a typical restaurant environment. And then you know, how many times have you had the receipt put on your table and, and the the waiter will smooth it out so you can sign it? All of our uh, our M collection printers have our, our print flat technology built in um, that makes sure that every receipt printed, even as you get to the center of that paper core, comes out uh, basically almost perfectly flat. So it's just simple little things that make it really uh, a nice experience um, in a restaurant or, or any environment. Um, so yeah, we've really designed it uh, you know, of course, for for any environment, but with with some pretty neat things for for restaurants in mind. Thank you, John. Um, I don't have any more coming in from the audience here. Um, we could hold for a few minutes and see if we get more. I guess. Well, I think uh, you know. Of course, we're always available to to anyone on the call at any time so uh, as people review the the powerpoint and you know listen to it again or share it with their colleagues uh, feel free to reach out to us anytime with any questions that you have um, we're really excited about this this collection as marcelo mentioned it's uh, uh i think a big step forward in in kind of point of sale technology and point of sale design uh really starting to get a lot more towards the, the promise of mpas um, as far as a driving the modern store. So we're excited about it. Let us know if you're interested and uh, we can we can talk more or let us know if you think of any questions, then we'll uh, you can reach out, reach out to us anytime. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that's uh, on the call and who was here during the presentation. Um, like John said, our contact information it will be made available. Please call us uh, if there's any questions, if you have any ideas, any um, thoughts on what what can this M collection do for me, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to assist. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, everybody, thanks for attending. Um, like I said, we'll be sending out an email with the recording and the PowerPoint shortly. Thank you. Right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.